I don't even want to describe what it was like. It's not, it's not a good way to go. This is Brian from Ivy Acres, and I'm talking to you in front of one of our empty cages. This heat wave we've been having has taken a toll on our homestead. two of our rabbits and two of our quail died because of the heat yesterday. It's a rough way to lose animals. Mostly I wanted to talk about the rabbits. I'll be posting this video as soon as I can. Most of our other recent videos have been recorded earlier and then edited and posted later. Clifford the big red bunny was one of our oldest rabbits and a favorite of Wendy's. He died while I was at work. Peanut Butter, the other rabbit, died a little while after I got home. Both rabbits were breeding males and they will be missed. Clifford was just the sweetest nicest, most gentle rabbit that we had. Wendy did everything that she could. We really can't bring our rabbits inside the house. But towards the end, Wendy did bring those two rabbits inside near one of our air conditioning vents. But it was clearly too late at that point. We bought a mister to try and cool off some of our rabbits and Wendy's been rotating it around to try and get different rabbits a little cooler and then get it closer to some of the other rabbits. She's even used ice cubes to try and cool off the rabbit's ears. We really don't want the rabbits to be soaking wet. So the mister is just you know, to get their ears a little wet, they can get close to the mist if they need to and back away if, they're, if they feel like they need to do that. All of our animals out here have shade and plenty of water. It's mostly our older rabbits that are struggling. The younger ones are doing pretty good. The ones out in the rabbit tractors We've got a sprinkler going, and then we'll move the rabbit tractors over the wet grass so they've got a little hydration and cooler grass to be on. We bought some hard plastic freezer packs to put in with the rabbits. For the most part, the rabbits don't seem to be doing much with them, but Squirrel was playing with his a little while back. Our chickens and our goats are doing pretty good. Wendy did hose down a few goats and they really didn't like that. But Indigo was panting a little bit and Wendy was a little worried about that. It's supposed to be even hotter today than it was yesterday. And yesterday it got up to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna do what we can for our animals. Wendy is really pretty upset. Wendy was with both rabbits as they passed. 
I didn't record any video, but I did witness some of Peanut Butter's last moments. I don't even want to describe what it was like. It's not, it's not a good way to go. I offered to use the hopper popper on him so he wouldn't suffer so much, but I, I let Wendy hold on to hope for as long as she needed to, and he died while I was putting some ice cubes in some of our other rabbits' waterers. Today, in addition to the mister and these ice packs, we've got some damp towels chilling in the freezer that we can use to try and drape over the cages. Maybe that'll cool things off a little. If we need to, if it seems like it'll help, I can move some of these cages into more of a cluster and we can put a fan on the mister to really blow the that cold cold mist over the rabbits. It's, it's hard. We don't really know exactly what to do at this point. We're doing what we can. So that just identifies as it coming from Sleepy Creek Farm. So, and that's nice because I have sold some rabbits um, in other parts of the USA that are doing well on the show table. So that SCF year number starts to get known around the nation. Good. So. Good. And does the, the buck that we're buying have the your tattoo yeah, as well? Yeah, he's already been tattooed. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I get them younger, but sometimes I just get behind on things. Hi, handsome. There he is. That's a big rabbit. Pretty boy. <laughs> we are just getting started. We literally have two rabbits. Well, now you'll have four. That's right. They multiply. That's what they're supposed to do. Rabbit over his hindquarters on top of his tail. You've got control of those back legs. If he does start to kind of freak out, you can do an emergency scruff. I don't like to do that to them because it's uncomfortable for the rabbit, but it, it can help with in an emergency. There you go. That's it. And so this hand goes on top. There you go. And this one goes around the kind of. <laughs> Peanut butter was Wendy's very favorite bunny from our first breeding of Clifford to Marigold. In this clip, you can see Peanut Butter. I'm not sure which bunny he is. Most likely, he's one that's very friendly and up front, getting close to the camera. So we've been bringing some bunnies in. So far it's just been one or two at a time, but right now we've got three bunnies inside. That's a little more than we intended to. Squirrel down here is doing better than a lot of them. He's actually been eating some of these little salad greens that we've soaked in water. So he's getting some more moisture 
I'm sorry to say that one of our youngest rabbits, little white rabbit. Oh, watch this one. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here, it's a girl. We can't have all these rabbits running around the house, so we have to keep a pretty close watch on them. Anyway, the little white rabbit, Marshmallow, Come back here, squirrel. Okay, come on. You're getting all filthy walking around on our dirty floor. Okay. That little white rabbit did not seem like it was in as much distress as it was until the very end. So our young rabbits do seem to be affected by this heat just as much as the older ones, they just don't show it as much. So now we've lost three rabbits that we intended to keep. We didn't have marshmallow for very long, <clears throat> but it's still, it's still not a, not a good thing. I've got a, I've got a clip that I can show you for a video that hasn't posted yet. It's pretty cute. I do a little magic act with the white rabbit. Here, we, here it is. Well, nothing has set off our trap yet. Unfortunately, whatever's been eating from our raised beds here has now gotten Wendy's radicchio. I'm gonna see if I can't Harry Potter this situation Using my magic wand, I'm going to try and restore the plants to their previous state. Let's see if it works. Radiclio. Great. Now the trap's gone. Maybe I was saying it wrong. I'm not sure what's wrong with this thing. We'll give it one more try. Radiclio. Where'd you come from? And now the magic wand is gone. Temperatures are starting to drop. It's not supposed to be this hot tomorrow. Everybody out there who can hear this, take care of yourselves and take care of your animals. <laughs> 